hello guys welcome to safe video tutorials in this video tutorial we will go through a simple isolated footing or a spread footing in safe so uh, let me go and open safe 2016 all right so uh, the simple method of designing just one isolated footing in safe is just to go to file select new model select single footing now in here i'll say i'll give my dimensions so i want a 10 foot by 10 foot footing so left edge distance along x direction would be 5 foot and right edge distance along x direction would be 5 foot similarly in y direction this would make my 10 foot by 10 foot footing and 24 inches load size would be nothing but my pedestal and i'll be applying 200 kips dead load and let's say 200 kips live load okay if you have any moments you can add those i'll keep my footing thickness as 24 inches for now coming to this subgrid modulus so subgrid modulus is calculated per inch of settlement and you get it with the help of formula 2L multiplied by allowable soil bearing pressure multiplied by factor of safety. Now 2L multiplied by I'm assuming my allowable uh, soil bearing pressure is 6 KSF based on factor of safety 2. So when I do that I get 144 kip per feet cube as my subgrid modulus. So I go back to save and I'll input 144 kip per feet cube which can be inputted as 1.44 multiplied by 10 to the power 10 to the power 5 pounds per feet cube select ok now as you can see over here you have your footing and this plus marks are nothing but the support given to that footing which is the soil now you just need to run this in order to uh, get the results but before doing that I would like to add design strips so this design strips helps us in designing the footing I mean in designing the reinforcement required so I'll say global X and strip layer A select OK now I have strip layer A and I'll replicate this I'll replicate that strip at one foot increment in y direction both negative and positive y direction so let's say I have six increments in positive y direction select ok now if it goes beyond the footing that's fine don't worry about it it's not gonna cause you any harm now going back to my strip again replicate it in negative y direction select ok now as you can see you have strips in uh, along x directions now next thing I'll do is add design strips in the other direction nothing but I'll select grid direction Y strip layer B and I'll select ok now as you can see I have one design strip added now go back to replicate and now it will be in x direction positive x direction I'll have 6 increments and similarly I'll have 6 increments in negative x direction now, uh, now as you can see these are design strips so which help you design the reinforcement required over there now all you, all you need to do is just run the model run analysis and design over here save it don't worry about that now the first thing that you get is deformed shape displacements dead end so for dead you this is for dead but if you want to see deformed shape uh, for a load combo you can get it over here 
so this triangular shaped icon shows deformed shape and this you can see for load combinations also and I'll select second one select apply now as you can see I see the maximum I'm getting in feet now go to units consistent units select inches select ok select ok so now as you can see I have 0.51248 inches maximum deflection that happens at the center which is fine as far as we don't cross one the next thing I'll be looking at is soil pressures so right now this footing is designed based on uh, allowable soil bearing capacity 6000 PSF or 6 KSF so when you check reaction forces over here select reaction forces and in this you'll select soil pressures now you select I mean this will be display contours on deformed shape or on deformed shape anything is fine select apply now I get my results in pound per inch square but I need it in PSF or KSF so I'll go back to my consistent units and select pounds per foot select ok select ok now as you can see this is just for uh, dead load combo now I go back to my soil pressures load combination I'll select two. select apply now if you need to know what kind of load combination is that go to define select load combinations in here and you select uh, the this combination select modify or show combo and you can see this is your load combination right now 1.2 dead 1 plus 1.6 live anyways so as you can see this one is crossing 6149 PSF which we do not need that so in that scenario what we do is like we just increase the footing size or thickness so let me do this uh, let me just increase the me just go to define first unlock it go to define select slab properties so as you can see this thickness is two foot let me make it 2.5 nothing but 30 inches select ok select ok now run it again now if you go back to your soil pressures for the load combination too you can still see that it's the same thing okay now what we'll do is we will probably we can probably uh, just increase the slab size this should help I don't know I mean no, I'm not sure exactly how much it is getting increased but I would assume it's getting increased one foot Anyways, let me go to draw draw dimension lines select from this point to that point yeah almost one foot now if you run it again with 30 inches thickness let's see how much you get so go back to your soil pressure select apply now as you can see this amount got reduced to 4500 so all you need to do is like make sure that soil pressure is less than 6000 PSF because it needs to be less than 6000 PSF which is your allowable soil bearing capacity in that scenario right now it, since it's 4500 this footing passes for it I can also right now since it's 4500 I can still go back and change my footing thickness to, to 24 inches from 30 inches 
anyways I'm gonna leave that right now and move forward next thing I would like you to show you is punching shear ratio so select this icon over here show punching shear design so it gives you 0.4155 as far as you are less than one as long as you are less than one you are fine with punching shear you need to make sure it's less than one always the next thing would be slab design go to this icon show slab design over here this window pops up now all you need to do is like select strip based uh, design basis would be strip based not finite element based since we add those strips and I need enveloping flexural reinforcement right now I'll select these two boxes top and bottom rebar also layer A and layer B rebar and I'll select both of this or I can select only one show value set controlling stations on diagram now next thing will be coming to the show rebar above specified value so I'll select this typical uniform reinforcing specified below now this would be the reinforcing that would be uh, provided in this footing but if this isn't sufficient and if you need anything additional required you it will be shown in the amount of whichever the bar we select over here let's say we select number threes now if you need any additional besides number five at one foot on center it will be provided in the uh, the quantity over here it will be provided in the number three rebar now you select apply now as you can see number five at one foot on center is not sufficient because you are getting a lot of additional number three rebars in the bottom now let's make this number five to number six and select apply so that reduces now let me make this number seven so everything goes away so this is how you uh, design a footing right now your footing would be uh, 11 foot no sorry 12 foot by 12 foot in size because we increased one foot on this side and one foot on this side like on all the four directions one foot so it would be 12 foot by 12 foot footing with 30 inches thick uh, number 7 at one foot on center bottom reinforcement and number 5 at one foot on center top reinforcement this can be reduced if you want I mean if you want to improvise you can do that see but it's generally like whatever the bottom reinforcement is the top reinforcement remains the same so that mistakes inside can be avoided okay now this is how you do a simple isolated spread footing in the next lecture we will go through a similar spread footings but multiple of those in a project and how do you do all of those at a time thank you for watching this video